bad as hell and grand blank. Okay. Mm. This one should be juiced. So the township approved the split, but never recorded it. Mm -hmm. We informed the township and the title company multiple times, and we were told to figure it out amongst yourselves. We are now paying taxes on 40 acres, and the title and deed are incorrect. I have notified the title company and township, and they say, have the seller pay you the difference. In result of this closing, in, in result of this, the closing costs were increased and escrow payments were to cover the 40 acres taxes. Is this something I can take legal action on? So Matt as hell was so mad that he made a couple of typos and he, did, and he didn't explain what the split was. Hmm. Um, well, I can figure it out for you. Oh, so, yeah. So there's, because, there's a few missing pieces and this isn't very clear to me. Well, and, and actually uh, those questions come across our desk quite often, <laughs> but I'm going to yeah. read into it just a little bit. Not that I, I mean, doesn't mean I'm right, but uh, 40 acres is, you know, a 40 acre parcel is sure. standard, right? Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's uh, kind of the largest parcel you can have. Um, uh, you know, government sanction, let's say. So there's a 40 acre, par 40 acre parcel and it sounds like the individual wanted less or thought that they were buying uh, a property with fewer uh, acres in this parcel. And the records keep showing 40 acres. I, I'm mm -hmm. just speculating. Yeah, I'm sorry that we have to okay. kind of dissect this, but um, I get here in the end, in a nutshell, sounds like they, they closed on a parcel that shouldn't be they shouldn't be paying as much taxes on yeah. it's not the right legal description whatever it is whether it's 40 acres 10 acres here's the general idea somebody bought a piece of property that wasn't properly described the legal description isn't the correct legal description um they're being overtaxed on it and uh because of you know that they bought a, a larger parcel than they believe they should have they also end up having to pay for more for insurance or what have you, sure, closing sure. costs, et cetera, you know, for, for title insurance, um, what have you. So they went to the township to get it straightened out and nobody's helping them. And, and the township is saying, oh, this is between the two parties. You figure mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, perhaps. Um, but I, my real question is why would you close on a transaction uh, on, on property that's not properly defined i i don't know where the attorney was on this one but i'm going to assume there was none at the time this transaction was done okay it's like stabbing in the dark you just closed on a property and you don't have the right legal description and you trusted a title company or a realtor or a mortgage company that they were going to correct that after your closing that's the problem with the the essence of this file is they don't know what the hell they bought they think they have something <laughs> right they have they that's really what it comes down to they don't know what they bought but they know whatever they bought wasn't what they're being taxed on okay yeah. and the township's not going to help them well here's how you, this has to go down if everybody's in dispute you have to go get a new legal description get it corrected get it surveyed and then what you have to do is if that legal does not uh, conform or comport to the purchase uh, legal description, you have an issue if it wasn't quote disclosed properly. But here's the problem with this whole file. And I don't even know these people. That is, they knew going in that they had the wrong legal description. So how are they gonna sue a seller for something that they took the risk? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it, that one. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're still watching on this question, my suggestion is, why would you ever close on this deal without verifying what it is you have? Now, she did say something like she felt pressured or something. Never feel pressured. You felt pressured by a realtor. You felt who wants a, a, a sales commission. You felt pressured by a title company who wants to make, uh, you know, their their fee on their title insurance. You felt pressured by the seller. Well, you know what, if you had a legal representative there who was working for your best interest, you could say, you know, that person would say, we're not closing until this thing is taken care of properly. That's the problem with that question. It's not about the township. It's not about what happened afterwards. It's what happened before. The problem started in the beginning. 
Mm -hmm. What they can okay. do after though is, um, I don't know how they're gonna sue. I'd, I'd have to see the paperwork. They'd have to see more information. <laughs> Which is the answer to everything. Right. Mad as hell, send me your documents. <laughs> not me. I don't me. blame them for being no, mad no, at not, all. Not me, right. David, send right. them to David. Send them to David. Yeah, I don't blame them for being mad, but <laughs> sure. they should really be mad at themselves. How do they get themselves in that situation? Right. Okay. All right. So moral of that story, folks, is don't close when there are outliers. Take care of the outliers right. prior to closing. And it's hard, Blair, because they have mm -hmm. people screaming in their ear, right? Yeah. You're going to lose your lock. You're going to lose your loan. You're going to lose this, yep. the deal. You're going to, you know. Yep. You just want things to be done. And then you figure right. once we get it done, then we'll take care of it. Right. A lot of people feel that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay.